hello viewers welcome back to my channel so if if at all you want to measure the performance of any particular layer you need to have some attributes so here for network layer the four different factors through which we can decide the performance of the layer are delay throughput packet loss and congestion control in fact congestion control is a mechanism to improve the performance now coming to the delay the very first factor delay is actually the time now see normally what we uh, expect in a computer uh, in a network is suppose if this is the sender and if this is the receiver fine we don't want any delay in that particular packet getting transmitted from the sender and it is getting received at the receiver so this delay should be minimum but in a network since there are different components each component has got its own properties so definitely there will be certain delay in making the packet reach the receiver so which are the different delays here that are this uh, the different delays are uh, are the transmission delay propagation delay processing delay and queuing delay so let us see these delays one by one in detail now the very first one is the transmission delay so in order to explain this transmission delay let me take one simple network scenario wherein you have a sender here fine so i will connect it the receiver which via different routers a very simple network scenario i'm just trying to give here so this is the sender and this is the receiver in between are the routers router r1 r2 r3 let us name the routers now transmission delay is the time taken for the packet to travel from the sender to travel from the sender until it reaches the receiver how much time it is taking so here if you look at this particular scenario or any network scenario the very first thing is this is the sender which is going to transmit the packet let us take that sender has kept the packet is with the sender now the sender is going to place the packet onto the link onto the wire now when we say the sender is going to place the packet on the link it is what what does packet consist of packet consist of bits so the sender is placing that is the bits started ar arriving here on the link first bit second bit third bit fourth bit like this so this completely put together is one packet so the time taken for the sender let us assume to place this first bit first bit is t1 and to place the last bit in the packet is t2 so the difference between this t2 and t1 is the delay here so the sender that is the sender when it is placing the packet normally you should think here in terms of what the length of the packet the more bigger is the packet then more the time is taken by the sender to place the packet on the link so here the sender is contributing or it is because the sender's transmission rate is this much in what rate it is placing this particular link that is also one of the factor so when i say the sender at what rate it is placing the packets on the wire then we have to think here about the transmission rate what is the transmission rate that means your transmission delay in short i'm writing here tr for transmission delay uh, delay for the transmission is always dependent on the packet length fine and the transmission rate with what rate it is placing the packets onto the wire onto the link onto the medium let it be any medium here so this way this is how we say that transmission delay can be calculated with this particular uh, formula now let us take one example suppose if the transmission um, delay is 10 kb uh, transmission rate is 10 kbps and the packet length is 1000 bits so let me just uh, for this formula we are assuming that 1000 bits is the what the 1000 bits is the packet packet size or the length of the packet normally these are the very simple examples wherein the packet length will be given and the transmission rate will be given so let us assume 10 kbps is the transmission rate so your job is very simple here packet length is 1000 bits and this is 10 kbps so when you try to substitute the formulas and try to get the result you are going to write it in terms of seconds or milliseconds or microseconds so in this example it is how much 100 millisecond fine 
So this way you are going to calculate the transmission delay. So the time taken for any of the component, okay, right from the sender to the receiver to place the packet onto the wire, fine. And with what rate it is placing the packet or it is sending the packet or it is sending the data, sending the bits. So that contributes, uh, that is the transmission delay. Now let me uh, teach you uh, the second type of the delay which is called as the propagation delay. In this, I will just take uh, in short notation PG. This so PG is what? Delay, propagation delay. Now propagation delay is, so taking one simple network scenario, fine. Propagation delay. That, that the packet has started traveling from the sender to the receiver. So how much is the distance between the sender and the receiver, receiver and with what speed it is getting propagated in the network. So here propagation delay depends on the distance okay, and the propagation speed. It depends on these two factors, propagation speed. Now when you see, see distance from the sender to the receiver, how much is the distance? Propagation speed definitely depends on the medium that is used between the sender and the receiver. Okay. What is if it is a wired medium? It is, uh, and in that wired medium also, if it is a normal cable or is it an optic fiber, the speed, the value for this propagation speed is different. So, given will be what the distance and the propagation speed. So, you can easily find out what the uh, propagation delay. Let us take one example. For example, if you take uh, 5000 kilometer as the distance between the sender and the receiver and the speed of the medium is 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5000 kilometer and the speed of the medium is 2, 2.1 into 10 to the power of meter per second. So simply substitute the values and find out the answer. You can write it in terms of milliseconds. So if you calculate this, it is 23.8 milliseconds. So you can say here the propagation delay for this values is how much? 23.8 second. So this is this analogy I can give you in uh, in our real life one ex an analogy for this can be what? See uh, normally uh, like in. Uh, by what time you will be reaching uh, your particular station, if you are travelling via a train or any transporta uh, transportation media, uh, transportation. In that if you s look at the, for example, if you take the train, how much is the distance between your uh, boarding station and your destination station and with what speed the train is travelling. So that definitely gives you the time or you can, uh, uh, with that time you can reach the destination station. Similarly here in the network, it is the propagation speed and the distance between the sender and the receiver. Fine. The third type of the delay here is the processing delay. Fine. These two hope you people have understood. The next one will be the processing delay. Now each of these components that are placed in the network has to process. When we say process what exactly it means here. The packet has started from the sender. It is moving towards the receiver. In between it will face the other components, the networking devices which are connecting different networks. So here in this example, it is the router. So each of these routers, what does it do is, see for each of this router, there is an input port and there is an output port, input and output. The router receives the packet at the input port, places the packet on the output port. But when it receives the packet, what does it do? It removes the header part. Then it checks for the error corrections, it will check for errors, it will check for errors and then it will place the packet onto the output port. So normally these are the functions that are carried out by the networking devices that are placed between the sender and the receiver. Each one will care. So this router is doing the, this particular uh, functions, the next the router, the third, whichever comes, how many routers are there, all those are going to perform these functions. What does the send, uh, receiver does? So this receiver, it will also receive the packet at the input port, fine. It will also remove the header part, check for errors, 
but here it will place the packet or it will send the packet to the higher layer higher layer here is what the transport layer so what i mean to say here is not only the routers the receiver that is the destination host also takes part in processing so these are the uh, these are mainly in any network if you see this uh, destination host and the routers are contributing towards the processing delay the last part of the the last uh, type of the delay is the queuing delay here the sender st sends the packet find the packet started uh, starts moving towards the very first router that is that it faces in the network so this router each of the router is having what the queue okay there is an input queue and output queue the packet gets into the queue this packet is taken by the router it gets processed when it is getting processed the other packets may also arrive so the other packets are placed in this queue one after the other so the time taken for the packets okay or the time taken by the packet to wait in the input queue and the output queue is the queuing delay so queuing delay is what the input queue and output queue they are waiting at this two different queues so this in this particular network scenario these are the this is the only component that is the router is the one which is contributing towards the queuing delay until the packet the current packet gets processed by the router the other packets will be waiting in the queue so when they spend some time in the queue that total time see definitely here in order to calculate the queuing delay there is no formula each of these routers will have what a different uh, or we can say simply the time required for a packet which spends in the queue that is the input queue and the output queue of a router becomes the queuing delay similar is for the processing each of these routers or each of these uh, nodes will have what a different processing uh, delay time or uh, different time for the processing so the average of those is taken as the processing delay so these are the four types of so the total now we can calculate the total delay the total delay is given by the what the transmission delay transmission delay and propagation delay sum of all this okay propagation delay processing delay and the queuing delay sum of all these delays becomes the total delay now is there any formula for the total delay yes it depends on what the number of routers that are used in the network scenario for example i'll take the same example so that it will be easy for you to write the formula for to calculate the total delay so suppose if here how many routers are there three routers fine now we are telling that total delay is equal to sum of these delays if for each of these delay which are the components that are contributing towards the delay so if you take transmission delay it is the sender and the routers all the three routers so we can say sender and the router are contributing towards the transmission delay in this example there are three routers three plus one sender fine and what about the propagation delay propagation delay is mainly dependent on the link and here if you see if there are three routers 1 2 3 the number of links will be how many 1 2 3 4 always there will be one extra compared to the number of routers the links in this example also you can see so we can say that propagation delay is also what 3 plus 1 processing delay yes the routers are processing and the destination host is processing so it will be how much 3 plus 1 once again the destination host is contributing towards the processing delay queuing delay it is only the routers so that is why only that's the in this way if you look into it and if you take in general n routers then it becomes what n plus 1 all these three becomes n plus 1 and you can write down the formula like this because queuing delay is only because of the routers so you can write n into queuing delay whereas the rest of the delays transmission propagation and processing are because of because of what the routers
total delay because of what the routers or the sending and the receiver so transmission is routers and the sender so here you can see this is the sender this one is i'm just uh, trying to put uh, explain to you by showing this one is for the sender whereas when it comes to propagation delay this one is because of the link and this one is what processing it get, is getting processed by the receiver also so this is what i can say destination or receiver so remember this is the logic to calculate the total delay in a network so hope you people have understood the concept of the very first factor that is deciding the performance of a network layer the very first factor here is delay and in the next in my next video lecture i'll be talking to you about the rest of the factors throughput is the second one in the list the packet loss and the congestion control thank you have a nice day